Oops, phone fell upside down. Hey, kitty. How are you? Yes, you beautiful kid. You beautiful kid. Looks like they found the last apple. <laughs> probably fell from one of the trees. Munch, munch, munch. Just gonna check the bale of hay. Look at the sun. It's cold but it's sunny and dry. This is what I like, sunny and dry. She's carrying her apple to keep up with me. She doesn't want to share it. <laughs> It wants to keep the cat away from it, even though she's not allowed it. <laughs> it's a competition, all for the apple. Isn't that right, kitty? You beautiful. You beautiful kitty. So when I had the tree surgeons taking down the trees along the road. Oh, wow. What did I just see? <gasps> There's a hawk or a buzzard. Let's see if I can see it or get it so that you can see it. It's perched on a branch. There it goes. Okay. Sorry, into the sun. You just can't film into the sun. It doesn't work. Anyway, the sheep are doing well. The buzzard is probably here, scruffing through the hay and stuff, eating worms and beetles and bugs. So, I'm running out of hay, not a good thing. I've had to feed hay a lot earlier this year than normal, so I miscalculated how much hay I needed. And there, it's hay is like gold dust this year. So, I'm gonna have to be very abstemious with the hay. Isn't that right? You like sitting there because it's lovely and warm. Yeah. Okay, the sheep have this for one more day. And then I'd say there's another day, maybe even two days in this bale. And then what I'm going to start doing is take that bale, not putting it in the ring feeder, but putting a certain amount in the ring feeder every day. I just can't uh, afford to not have hay during lambing. And uh, I've only found two more bales and I probably need like 15. So I'm gonna have to go around to all my farming friends and get a bale here and there, which is a lot of work. Anyway, the sheep are coming back out here. They've had their meal. 
They're gonna go and have a sup of water first. I don't know if you can hear the village bell. It's donging. Anyway, there we go. A buzzard, a bell, cats, dogs, sheep. Who knows what else we'll see today. I'm so lucky to have this orchard that nobody chopped it all down. You're such a pretty little girl, aren't you? Okay, time to go feed the rams. The raven is barking and the dogs are barking at the neighbors. Java, you don't have to. They're all looking at the neighbors. The raven's doing its <laughs> The boys having their meal. I've got to check their hay. You can see it's a beautiful sunny day. So this is how I fill in their hay rack. It's a shed I designed. So you pull the rope. And there, you can see you can see the hay rack there. But this is all full. So they've got plenty of food. And it's a beautiful sunny morning. With an empty bucket. And look, I planted these snowdrops along the road last year and they're coming up. There's more of them here. That's a bluebell, but you can see the snowdrops. I planted them where I wouldn't be walking and herself is waiting for me on the sty. Can you get down? Go on. Good girl. Out of dogs. Where's all the dogs? Yeah, these are the woods, some of the woods. Hey, kitty. You can see there's bluebells. Those are daffodils. That's Inca. That's cat time. Can you move so that I can walk? I can't walk. Now, I've been planting snowdrops in here. So you can see they're all coming up over here. Loads of snowdrops. They're thickening as well, which is what you always want to do. Every year I'm transplanting snowdrops. Look at that. A whole thick swathe of snowdrops coming up there. All those little silver green gray are snowdrops. I've been slowly planting them. So the bluebells, see here's, that's cow parsley, bluebells, snowdrops, 
more snowdrops. So they're all coming up in here. Oh, look, some are blooming. Some of the snowdrops are blooming. Look at that. They're blooming. They're looking gorgeous. Isn't that right, Inka Dink? Snowdrops are blooming. And they're blooming over here as well. Isn't that right, kitty? Look at that. Beautiful snowdrops. All of these I've been transplanting over the years. These are more recent years and the bigger clumps are older years. I think these ones we transplanted four years ago, maybe three, four years ago. But there's some beautiful ones, big ones. Oh, there's a pheasant flying. You can hear its wings rattle. Dogs are flushing the pheasants. Anyway, it's lovely having, it's lovely transplanting snowdrops and watching them clump up beautifully, like this one here. And all in there, I've done loads of snowdrops over the last five or six years. And it's so lovely seeing them clumping up like that and getting more and more. But the ones, the earliest ones I did over here are the biggest clumpers, as it were. This whole swathe of them here. Yeah, this is gonna be lovely because they're there, they're all there and there, and they're all the way up over there. So slowly but surely, in that right pup. Yeah, you're so sweet. I think it's time we went inside and have a coffee, but it's great to see the snowdrops coming up in the woods. On a sunny winter day.